Hi everyone, my name's Nick Thompson from NEC. I've been asked to do a quick demonstration on the Michaels Call Recorder. Okay, so what you can see in front of you is actually the Michaels Call Manager. This is the application that you can um, listen to and play back your call recordings from. It obviously does a lot, lot more, this application. This is a real-time management tool, so you can see your incoming, outgoing um, calls, graphical representations. You can run thousands of different reports, so it, it obviously does a lot. But the demonstration that I've been asked to do today is specifically around the call recording of which this application is needed. Um, so again, the whole lovely thing about NEC um, is that everything that you need is in one application and that's this that's the Michaels call manager okay so call recording so the first thing is how do we find or search for calls um, to listen to them play them back oh sorry and before I actually start and go into this it's worth noting that our call recording is legally binding and it's PCI compliant OK, so um, on the technical side, we encrypt the call recording to AES 256. Um, so it's kind of military grade uh, encryption. Um, and again, I'll show you the reasons why we, we um, can comply to the, the PCI um, regulations that are out there at the moment. So um, all good to go. Um, let's go and look at some call recordings and how do we find them? OK, so look down the bottom here, there's a tab called calls. And if you click on there, you can see that that is all the calls. In fact, that's the calls for today. And we can obviously drop that down and look at calls yesterday, this week, last week, or perhaps a custom range between um, two dates. The next thing that we can also do to search for a call is we can search on different call types. So we can search if it was an incoming, outgoing, abandoned or even an internal call. Again, if you know the number of the caller that you want to listen to, then you could type the telephone number or even part of the telephone number and it will find um, the number within here and obviously then you can play it back. If you don't know the number that they rang in on, or perhaps we rang them on, yep, then we can also search, and we know what they, number they rang us, and then we can search a DDI. Or perhaps you just want to search by extension. So again, if I type 200 into there, okay, you can see now that these are all the calls for extension 200, which is reception, and you can see the incoming, outgoing, abandoned calls, and so forth, and all the different headings along here, which you can change and you can add to, and the column chooser there. Okay, so again, this is this kind of report. Well, it's not really a report because it's live information. Okay, so we can filter and search for calls. Some calls you can also write a note next to. So let's pick this call here. Okay, if I double click into that box, it opens up a note field and I can type in there, I don't know, um, DFD, um, GGG, whatever. We can type a note in there and press save. Okay, and we'll close that. Now, you know, two months, three months later, I might be looking for um, a call. I can't remember when it was and who it was, but if I type in there um, DFD, yeah, um, and press enter, yeah, then we found um, something with DFD. So that, you know, that could be an account number. So anyway, there is a note field that you can search on for calls as well. But I'm just going to um, leave it as it is. There's all the calls for today. So let's put a call. I don't want to play back a historical call. I want to put a live call into the system. You'll probably hear the phone ringing. I'm going to answer that. Hello, NEC. How can I help you? Blah, blah, blah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, testing. ABC, ABC. Thank you very much. Yep, that's great. See you tomorrow. Thank you. And I put the call down. Now, if you look and wait for the top of this, did you see it pop up then? Because that was it took a few seconds because it's obviously um, buffering and saving that call recording. So that's the call information came in on this day and time to extension 200. Um, it was that number that rang us. 200 is a call manager just because I'm using this. Um, it was an incoming call. Uh, the duration of the call was 11 seconds. It ran for one second, so that's good. The total duration, etc., etc., etc. And again, you can choose which um, headings to, to look under, and you can filter by headings as well. How do I play that back? You go along to the little speaker there and you double click the speaker so double click the speaker and look it's he opened up can help the um, player I was nearly said Windows Media Player then it's not this is obviously our own player which is why um, it's legally binding because obviously if it opened up the Windows player um, in a WAV or a MP3 you know, five format or whatever, and it wouldn't be legally um, binding. So this is our own um, call player for that call recording. So if you had to take um, a call recording to court, you would actually have to take this software with you and play it. Saying that, if you want to send this um, call to somebody, um, you can um, send all of it, you can email it, you can export it. 
So the way that you do that is just literally right click over there and I can export the call audio. It puts it into the date and timestamp for the file name and obviously who it came into reception and it will um, it'll export that into a WAV or a WMA format. Okay, and you can obviously save that to your computer and then email it off. But we might not want that call could be half an hour long and I certainly don't want to be emailing a half an hour long call to my boss. There may be just a section within the call and you can see this is the caller, this is me talking, that's the caller, this is me talking and so forth. So when you play this and you get to the area that you actually want to um, perhaps um, send to someone else, then you can actually highlight an area. Okay, so whatever area that you highlight of the call and then we can right click over that, add it to our sound clips. There's the sound clips there. It's called new clip you see it's called new clip and I can change that to something like let's say dispute or whatever so I can give that a file name I can give it a bit of a description do you know what I can even for some strange reason I don't know why I'd want to do this but you can even change the color of that now we talked about PCI compliancy and there's lots of different compliant uh, regulations out there as I'm sure you well know what makes this compliant is this tab here called audit and if you click the audit tab it tells us everything that's happened with this course Call report this call recording so you can see at this date and time we played it back in fact we only played look 18% because we only got to there didn't we so we played 18% of it I exported the whole call then I added a new clip I changed clip to dispute yep I even changed the color of dispute there so this is a great way of knowing what your staff are doing with these call recordings okay so that's the player the other great feature about this is if this call recording was paused for any reason, which I'm going to obviously cover in a second, then we can see where it was paused and more importantly why it was paused. And that's on this tab here called the start stop recording. Now obviously there isn't any. This call was completely recorded. So let me show you the start stop recording. There's actually three ways that you can pause and resume a call recording. Now why would we want to do that anyway? So you know, without insulting intelligence, um, we do need to sometimes pause a recording and that's because you could be taking let's say a credit card or the most common thing is taking a credit card or a payment transaction and obviously you can't record them saying their CVV number on the back of their card and you'll notice there's a little button here look and we can manually turn that on and off when it's um, when it's recording so let's put a call back into the system I'm going to accept that call. Hello, NEC. How can I help you? And you look, you will notice that that button is now recording. If I click that button, it's gone and it's now not recording. So I'm now talking and the call is not being recorded. And I click it again and it's being recorded again. And I can obviously toggle that on and off as many times as I want. Let's put the phone down. OK, let me have a look at that call. So that call is just about to buffer and come in now. There it is, it's popped up, and I'm going to double click that to play it. Call, hello, anything. And look at that. There's the call, it's just me talking, and you can see here that it is paused. And it says there manual, and that's because I manually started and stopped the call, which is great. But the problem with manual start stop recording is people forget to do it, and I'm sure you can appreciate that. So I'd have to physically remember to click on that when I'm taking the CVV number, and then click on it again when I'm taking um, further detail that can be recorded. Let's be honest, it's probably not going to happen. People will forget to do that. So what we really want to do is be able to pause it automatically. Now, I haven't got a payment system here, unfortunately, as demonstration, but I can use a browser. So um, if I come down here and let's just say so. So we, although I'm using a browser, let's just pretend that this is my payment system that that uh, that you obviously use within your organization. In fact, I'm just going to jump across onto the NEC website and I'm going to use my website as a payment system. So just imagine that you've got your CRM, sorry, not your CRM, your payment system open. OK, I want you to keep an eye on that box there, obviously, for the call recording. Now, I've selected some fields within our website. And again, just imagine that this is the CVV column um, or field, should I say. So let's put a call into the system. There it is ringing. I'll answer that. Hello, NEC. Yeah, can I take some credit card payments off you, please? What's your name? What's your date of birth? Blah, blah, blah. All of that. Now watch. Watch this box here. The call is being recorded. And when I click in here, which could be the CVV number, look, it's not recording. And then when I click back into another cell, and can I have the expiry date, please? Which is that cell. Look, it started recording. That one there might be the date of birth or something, and I don't want that recording. I click in there. It stops recording. And again, I can go click back into this box and look, we've started recording. That's great. 
Okay, so that shows you that this fantastic system um, can automatically start and stop. We just all you need to do is tell this system the fields where you want it to start and stop, and that's done within the configuration key here. Okay, brilliant. I want to show you that call recording now because this is interesting. So we go back to the calls. That was the call that we've just taken. Yep, and I can double click that and let's have a look at these call recordings now. Yeah, can I take some credit card payments? Okay, so there's the call and look, now it says NEC contact field stop. Yeah, and obviously start. And then again, the same, a different contact field. In fact, if I go to the start stop recording tab, which is already open, we can see when we stopped it, when we started it, when we stopped it, when we started it, and it tells you the field. Now that wouldn't see NEC contact field, of course, because that's my website. Right, that would say, you know, that would say CVV, that would say date of birth, that would say postcode or whatever you want to not record. So there you go. And I did say there was three ways of starting and stopping. And the other way is manually via a telephone. Let's be honest, not everyone is going to have this application. So if you wanted to manually do it, let's put a call into the system. But I am talking through this telephone and if I press hash one, can you see that? It's now not recording. And if I press hash two, it starts recording and there you go and again if I go down to my call list and I have a look at that call when it pops up now that is going to tell me there's the call and look it says handset so I can see why and in what form and what device has paused that recording so we've seen how we can search for a call and how we can play it back and we can see the manual pausing we can see the uh, handset pausing obviously the automatic pausing as well what I want to show you now is a fantastic feature of another way of looking at the call recordings. And that's actually, and this is a unique selling point for NEC, if you go to our reports, so I can run that report, I can edit it, I can copy it. So let's run that report now as an ad hoc report. Goes away, and there's our report viewer. Okay, again, our own software. And again, you can export that um, into CSV or into whatever format. And here's a report created on for the date range of and how many calls in, out, call durations, whatever. And there's my report. But I can think you can see what I'm going to do. There is a speaker there. So and you can actually click on that and it will open up the player. And there is, there's that call that we've just seen. So we can even play back calls from a report. That's it really, there's obviously a lot more to my calls and the call manager. Thank you very much for your time and again, if there's any questions that I can answer, please do get in touch.